It's not in the cards for you. I'm pretty good at insults. And I got the internet and a lot of free time. Listen, I would love to do your podcast. I would love to be on your podcast with you. And I could be calm and cordial and as nice as you want. But I promise you, as soon as anybody rails into me, I'm railing into them with extreme prejudice, bitch. Feel me? Also, I did the geek room. And the first one was $110 to get me on. They got me a motel room and a meal. And a lot of those guys have been out of work since COVID-19. So you better pony up, motherfuckers. Okay? Also, I did the podcast, the USB podcast, the Golden USB podcast, out in Canada, uh, Montreal, with Gold Hour and He's been out of work since January, and it's almost January again. He paid me off of UBI two meals every time I came on his show seven times, and we had good chemistry on the show. One time he paid me enough to pay for three people to eat. So if you're going to be a greedy little bitch about it, forget you. These people have not had jobs to go to because of the pandemic. If you're getting money to do your little shtick on the internet, I want some in return. You'll pay me $50 an hour on Cash App, or you'll buy me a nice $30 to $50 meal and a stay at Motel 6 if I need it Uh, for the first one. For the second one, I'll cut you some slack and it'll be just a meal. But if you want me that bad, you're going to pay. Because these people that have had podcasts that I've dealt with haven't had jobs because of the coronavirus. And yet they paid. They got people to pay for me to be there. So pony the fuck up. Okay. And like I said, I'll be nice. I'll be sweet as pie. Until you're not. And then the gloves come off, you fucking cunts. Listen, you guys know me. You guys know that I'm as left-wing as a day is long. But you know what really pisses me off? Money-worshipping liberals. Oh, you're a great liberal because you love the gay community. Meanwhile, you dumb bitches give in to this guy's greed because he's got a fat bank account and a nice car. Fuck you. You little hypocrites are the bane of my existence. Oh, yes, he loves the gay community. He's Black Lives Matter and ACAP. Meanwhile, he's driving around in a Ferrari with uh, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez bumper sticker on his car. So he has three girlfriends. And you just give right in to his fucking greed. Fuck you bitches. Oh, sure, I'm sure you have questions and you like me somewhat, some of you. Prove it. Send me some Grubhub today. I'll give you a shout-out video, and I'll be nice to you. I'll If you're mean to me, I'm going to be mean to you. And if you're a hypocrite, I'm going to point it out to you, dumb bitches, okay? You give in to his greed, and yet you're socialist-leaning, democratic socialist. Uh, yeah. I think I'm perfectly justified in calling you a bunch of fucking retarded, hypocritical twats. Hey guys, if you really hate somebody and you want to lend my voice credits to something, you know, send me some Grubhub and I will send them that video insult. What I have up above is German for, you could tell that to your grandmother. So, I mean, you send me a meal, like a good $30 meal, Grubhub or Delivery Chinese, whatever I choose. It's at least $30. You can pay me more if you're generous. And I will send a video insult to anybody. I don't care who it is. I don't really want these insults to be too bigoted, like, oh, fuck the black community or a gay community. But, like, if you want to insult a bunch of classist hoes for their worship of money, they're bigots, too. So, fuck them. You know, 
find me on Instagram, and I'll record a video of me to your grandmother, if that's what you want. Anything for a little meal, pizza, good pizza, thirty dollar, gib gap. All right. Hey, you guys really need to check out Nicholas Comics. This guy's a really unique cat. He's based in Denver, Colorado, and he does his own kind of comic strips. He sells them real cheap, okay? But they're like a lot of like pencil stuff, just just real interesting, sarcasticy shit, kind of based in marijuana. And like pointing out some social critique that he does. Really cool cat. Sent me some Autolanos to do this ad. And he has a website. It's nicholascomics.com. Um, I'm going to put that website in the, in the tagline for this video. Because I really want you to check it out. What he'll do is he'll tell you what he thinks of your favorite comics. Like you tell him, Oh, I got Superman number one. What do you think about this? He'll do a critique for you of your comic book. So this guy is a real cool guy. Just check this King out, out in Denver. I'm going to give you the web address. Just, he, he's starting up. He's new. You got to really check him out. He's kind of a social critic too. So a real cool cat. Check out Nicholas comic. So yeah, Nicholas Comics, he, uh, Nicholas behind that in Denver, this is what he sent me to do that ad. You know, he sent me two big burritos from Autolano's, he sent me an extra large soda. Uh, yeah, I, w I would do an ad for you for a meal like this. I mean, a cat's got to eat like three times a day, what? So, I mean, you send me a little Grubhub, a little DoorDash, a little Postmates, a little Uber Eats or something. Just a nice meal like this. And I'll do a little ad for you if you have a little business or something. If you want me to send an insult uh, video to your granny, I'll do that or anything. You know, you want me to read a poem for you, you know. Anything up to like five minutes, I'm totally cool with doing that. For Nicholas Comics was like almost a minute and a half, but you know, clearly the guy had the hookup. This is a Adelano's burrito, and the other one is a Mari Tierra. I got two burritos for this. This is what I'm doing. Uh, you know, I if you want to hook me up with a room at the Motel Six, or you want to like uh, hook me up with a meal, you know, I'll give you. Up to a five minute ad if you want. I mean, I know most ads are about a minute or 30 seconds, so if you want that, I'm cool with that too. But really, it's not all that expensive to get me to do you an ad. And this is what I did for Mr. Nicholas. You know, I two burritos. You know, this is a Mari Tierra. This is my favorite burritos. You know, it's got the bacon on it. This hot sauce is just blazing ghost pepper. Might be Carolina Reaper. I'm not sure. They all speak Spanish there and English horribly. They're one of the best restaurants I've ever been in in my life, Adelano's. I mean, I'll, I'll, I might even do a little discount for you for like a McDonald's meal if you only got like 25 bucks. But like somebody sent me some Wagyu beef yesterday. It really depends on what you want to do. I'm just showing you what people have done for me. Their generosity is obviously proven. And it's just a little interchange where we collide. I do an ad or I do a little video voice work for you and you hook me up with some food. I mean, no sweat, right? My problem with most Democrats is there are just a bunch of fucking hypocritical pussies. Like, we need to be gung-ho as Democrats. We need to be like, look, bitch, we're the Democrats. You need to be bereft, you motherfucking Republican bitch. You're not going to get away with your shit. And you motherfuckers within the party that say one thing and do another, fuck you. What we need is an inundation of socialist ideals. Like America was founded upon and affected by and grow through. through the workers' rights movements.
and migrant workers and worker solidarity movements. We need to infuse the Democratic Party with socialism. And we need to cut these money-worshipping douchebags out from our cloth. And we need to buck up, man up, spine up, and stop being a bunch of fucking cowards to these Republican cocksucking motherfuckers. And you fucking money-worshipping douchebags, fuck you too, and your mother. That's the way the Democrats need to be. So here's my impression of poor Republicans when rich people get a tax cut. <clears throat> Listen, you Republican cocksuckers, don't dick us, sweethearts. We're the Democrats. Watch your fucking mouth. Give us our stimulus check. Everybody else in the world has been getting stimulus checks for a month. Each consecutive month for a year. It's just month after month of stimulus. But here, in the greediest country in the world, the richest country in the world, we've gotten jack squat. So pony up the cash, you Republican motherfuckers. You know what? Blue whales have the second biggest asshole on the planet next to Mitch McConnell. Give us our fucking money. It's a pandemic, motherfucker. Z Don't dick us, sweethearts. Give us our fucking money. So guys, I want you to stay tuned because some exciting things may be happening here for the word. Somebody wanted me to do a call-out video against a racist blogger who does heroin over the internet. He's a, he's a vlogger on YouTube. His name's Oren. So I'm going to just rail into this heroin junkie racist motherfucker. Uh, I'm having my friend here on Instagram send me a couple of pints of ice cream because um, there's potentially going to be a lady guest coming to see me tonight. And she said that she was going to get an Uber over here and bring food for us to eat. So this will be the first time in eight years I've been with anybody. She said she's 24. She wanted to Uber me to her house. And I said, after Los Angeles, I don't trust anybody, darling. You're going to have to come over here. So she was cool with that. She said that she's going to come over here about five or six. She wanted me to do a video. Uh, beforehand, I mean, it could potentially be another catfish, but what do I really have to lose? The only thing that I'm going to have to lose is I won't have a lady friend to hang out with tonight, and I'll get to eat two brownies and two pints of ice cream. Oh, well. So anyway, stay tuned. We're going to be calling out this racist motherfucker. And uh, this is not the video for that. This is just for uh, my friend on Instagram to see. Uh, that everybody's aware of what's going on. So we're just going to just dick punch this donkey. Feel me? Black Lives Matter. You know, something occurs to me. The reason why I don't have a lady friend has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with haters. I've got all these people that sent me free food over Instagram that like me, that got me back from Los Angeles when I was in struggle, that I talk to every day, that miss me when I'm gone, when I can't charge my phone for a large period of time because I'm homeless and it's hard to charge my phone. If you're a Democrat and you're a classist, you're a fucking hypocrite. You may as well just go join the Republicans, retard. Nobody likes your bitch ass. Nobody likes your hater bitch ass. I've got all these people on my side rooting for me. But you're somebody that doesn't root for me. That's okay. I let my haters be my motivators. Kindly fuck off. Be a unicorn. Not a twatopotamus. Listen. Cockalorum. I'm pretty good at insults, and I got the internet and a lot of free time. 
feel good. Glad we're on the same page, bitch. Because if you want me to call out some motherfucker, I can look up plenty of insults on the internet. And I'll do it for a Grubhub meal. You just get a hold of me on Instagram. And I'm your favorite character assassin. I'm that dude. I'm that dude that says fuck bitches. Nobody likes bitches. If you require my services as an insult comic, you just get a hold of me on Insta. You send me some food, Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, something yum malicious for about 30 bucks or more if you're generous. And I will personally take down some motherfucker. Me, I don't like racists, homophobes, misogynists, or classists. I don't like vague people. I don't like cocks, assholes, bitches, stupid motherfuckers. People that troll people over the internet. You see what happens when you try to troll me over the internet. I just say, hey, bitch, it's not in the cards for you, you Trumpanzi idiot, you classist whore, you fucking cunt. And then I block. I ain't got time for your negativity. Right on you. Up yours. So if you require my services... You get a hold of me. The worm will take them down for you. For a small, snacky, little bit of McDonald's, little bit of burrito. Hey, I got you, kings and queens. We don't like bitches, assholes, hoes, stupid motherfuckers, trumpanzies, hypocrite retards, people that are trolling people over the internet. And especially you rude cunts. So get a hold of me. And hey, it's my pleasure. The worst pleasure. Also, if you might want me to do a ad for your business, I'll do that. Or a love letter to your honey. Listen, I'll do that. I got you. Feel me? Oh darn, another catfish. What does it serve you, you Trumpensy idiots who just keep trolling me and trolling me? It's not in the cards for you morons. You're just wasting your time when you punk bitches should just go fuck yourselves. But it's okay, you know, I let my haters be my motivators. And I'm going to eat some ice cream and uh, realize that this just proves that Gen Z women are a bunch of fucking bitches. Until you prove me otherwise. Fuck you, cunt. Bye now. Listen. Cockalorum. I'm pretty good at insults. And I got the internet and a lot of free time. Feel Good. Glad we're on the same page, bitch. Because if you want me to call out some motherfucker, I can look up plenty of insults on the internet. And I'll do it for a Grubhub meal. You just get a hold of me on Instagram. And I'm your favorite character assassin. I'm that dude. I'm that dude that says, fuck bitches. Nobody likes bitches. If you require my services 
as an insult comic. You just get a hold of me on Insta. You send me some food, Grubhub, DoorDash, Postmates, Uber Eats, something yum malicious for about 30 bucks or more if you're generous. And I will personally take down some motherfucker. Me, I don't like racists, homophobes, misogynists, or classists. I don't like vague people. I don't like cocks, assholes, bitches, stupid motherfuckers. People that troll people over the internet. You see what happens when you try to troll me over the internet. I just say, hey, bitch, it's not in the cards for you, you Trumpanzy idiot, you classist whore, you fucking cunt. And then I block. I ain't got time for your negativity. Right on you. Up yours. So if you require my services, you get a hold of me. The worm will take them down for you for a small, snacky, little bit of McDonald's, little bit of burrito. Hey, I got you, kings and queens. We don't like bitches, assholes, hoes, stupid motherfuckers, trumpanzies, hypocrite retards. People that are trolling people over the internet. And especially you rude cunts. So get a hold of me. And hey, it's my pleasure. The worst pleasure. Also, if you might want me to do a ad for your business, I'll do that. Or... A love letter to your honey. Listen. I'll do that. I got you. Feel me? This trolling effort is just getting worse and worse. This has been five years of this bullshit. Now we know that Gen Z women are a bunch of big ass bitches. Or they're the Trump and Z's doing this. But I don't see any love from any of you. They put this at my door. I contacted the Motel 6 staff. And we had a nice conversation. And they probably have you on the cameras right here. Listen to me. The cameras are right here. They saw you. If they find out your license plate number. They're calling the Spokane Police Department. And I'm going to press charges. You think it's fucking funny, but it's not. You're going to go to jail for this shit. So, I mean, the trolling effort is just getting more and more extreme. You're just proving to me that Generation Z women are a bunch of bigot bitches. Oh, you don't want to be called bigots or bitches or classes and stop acting like it. Maybe it's your trump asses. Princess, you stupid sluts during COVID. I hate you all. Do I have any reason not to? You're just a bunch of bigot bitches. You put catfish at my door. You catfish and troll me. Prove to me you're not a bunch of haters. I want to date one of you. You know what I mean? Prove to me you're not bigots and bitches. And class is pigs. Shut your fucking mouth, bitches. I'm tired of your shit. You're just a bunch of pussy-ass cowards. It just goes to show that you're judgmental, classist hypocrites. You give in to the greed of these guys. You slut around during COVID. You're idiots. You deserve more hate than millennials receive. Until you prove me otherwise, you're loving and kind. Not a bunch of age-phobes. Fuck you, bitch. I'm tired of you bigot bitches. 
I don't need help. You need to stop trolling me, you fucking cunts. We all hate you. Go die of the coronavirus. I mean, so now I don't really have an Uber downtown. It's a three-mile walk in the snow. I'll prove to you it's snowing. I mean, look at this shit. I would have to walk three miles in this. I don't have $2 in my pocket. If somebody wants to get me an Uber for tomorrow at 11 a.m., I'd really appreciate it. Because I'm trying to make money and trying to get fed by doing voice work. And people just keep trolling me and making my life worse. Because they're a bunch of immature retards that are happy that they won because they got a reaction out of me. I mean, they're probably jealous of me that I'm getting work to do uh, Grubhub and stuff. And they're just, you know, it's everything I, I say. They're age phobic. They're classist. Oh, look at the Cerberus at the gate. What are you entitled to, they say. You're not entitled to sex. Saying that I'm about sex with intergenerational love is like saying that homosexuality is about sex. You're a fucking bigot, and you need to shut your fucking mouth, bitch. But whatever, you know. I don't have an Uber to downtown. I got to get downtown tomorrow. And there's people in Spokane just making my life worse. I'm not trying to get sex out of Gen Z women. I'm trying to date them because I think they're young and pretty. If they're bigots, well, prove to me that you're not bigots and actually go on a date with me or be my girlfriend. You know what I mean? I'm not trying to get sex. I'm trying to get a girlfriend. Quit being a bunch of assholes. Nobody likes you. Everybody thinks you're dickheads. You're age folks. You're bigots. You're bigots. You're bigots. You're classes. You're bigots. You're bigots. You're bigots. Fuck you, bitches. So, I mean, if somebody wants to get me an Uber to downtown tomorrow, I'd really appreciate it. I'm still going to do like the insult comedy thing if you need that to be done or anything done like ads, a voice work or anything like that. So, um, I would really appreciate not being able to walk. People just keep making my life worse. What's it going to take to get you to stop? You're a bigot generation, Gen Z women, until you prove me otherwise. And you treat me with the same respect as every other person that you date. I'm not trying to get anything out of you other than romantic love. But if you can't show it, fuck you. Prove to me you're not bigots. You're scaring the hell out of me, man. Everything that I do good, I try to do good.